Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome back to my brand new match day vlog today. Mother will take on Hibs. Uh, we are at an accommodation uh, next to Motherwell right now because today I have four kickoff on a Sunday. It's the worst possible time you could have a kickoff because trains on a Sunday are non-existent because of ScotRail having strikes. So we basically got a bus from Edinburgh and then we got the longest bus going in the 240 from Glasgow because straight to Motherwell, which took longer than the bus from Edinburgh to Glasgow. So, yeah, here we are. We are basically in Motherwell right now. I'm looking forward to the game. Hibs seem to be a very attractive side to play against at the moment. Not to play against because they're a good team. But um, hopefully they've got tired legs from Thursday night's success in Andorra. And hopefully Motherwell can at least get something from the game. Because I want us to finish above Celtic this season. And they're 11th right now. So here we are in Far Park today. My prediction for the game. I said midweek we'd get beat 3-0. But I've seen the team. More, more confident because I'm actually in the ground. We'll go for a 2 each draw. I'll happily take a draw today. Get us on the board. What about yourself, Lindsay? It's your first ever trip to Far Park. I'm not too sure. I'm hoping for a win, though. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping for a win. Which team, though? Oh, I'm on the well. <laughs> ah, here's hoping I'm on the well. Before we get into today's match footage, this video is sponsored by Who Knows Wins. It's a fantastic app in which you can compete against your friends uh, and anyone else who is competing in the league for predictions and yeah you all put money in and the winner takes all. Next week's league is on the five Scottish clubs that are taking part in Europe and of course game week two in which the link is in the description and the code as well. It's great to be back. Whenever Hibs go forward, they look threatening. 
I mean, when Martin Boyle has the ball and uh, well at his feet, everyone just goes off him, and we need to tighten up on him because that prick just dives whenever he gets near the box. So, because it's been about like two or three times he's been on the deck. Hopefully, we hit him harder next time. Just gotta make sure that we just tighten up on him. But apart from that, we've been playing really well. The two goals were class. Uh, we should have really tightened up for the Hibs goal, but what can you do when they had the space and they utilised it to perfection? But yeah, so far so good. Apparently Hibs should have had a penalty, I've been texted that by my mates. I didn't see the push, but I thought it was on, on the defensive tackle by Jake Carroll, which I thought was superb. But from my perspective, I've not seen much, but then again, games on telly, you get about 32 different angles, whereas we only get it once. So, anyway, bring on the second half. On the wheel! On the wheel! Hey, come on, keep this out. That's wide out. Yeah, son. Brilliant, son. Van V, go on, Will Ray. Go on, Will Ray. Oh. Penalty, I think it was a handball on O'Donnell. Shit. Managed the game better being up, being up at half time, but oh well. Yeah, 100%. I think not just being in the lead twice, I think the performance merited uh, more from it, um, at least a point, at least. Um, but um, you know, things conspired against us in the second half for us to, to lose the game, but the performance was, was excellent. Uh, I thought we caused Hibs a lot of problems. We didn't let them get into uh, a stride, certainly in the first half. I thought, uh, Energy level dropped a little bit mid, mid second half, um, but that's understandable considering some of the players playing their first game for months, uh, you know, in a, in a few of the boys. But um, yeah, I was, I, was, uh, I was happy to see the team play like that against a, a top opponent. Players seem to really play off the crowd here, I mean, it's lively at the best of times here. Yeah, yeah, no, I, th I thought um, both sets of people, as in players and, and supporters, bounced off each other. I thought our performance merited the support we got, but I thought the, the crowd really got behind us and they could see what what a, a team we could potentially be this season in our attacking sense, how we worked off the ball. Um, but unfortunately, you know, it's just the result has gone away from us, but without a doubt, that's a performance we need to replicate. Uh, it was good. I uh, felt quite comfortable. Um, only getting fitter and fitter because last year I missed the whole season really with uh, Quite heavy injuries and uh, been training very hard uh, pre-season here and really enjoying my time so 
I uh, can wait for the next game again and hopefully do it all over again and score maybe more than one. Manager yeah. said you were unplayable. Did you sort of feel like that while you were playing it yesterday? Um, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I felt like I had the centre-backs in the pocket a bit, just playing around with them. And uh, I hope uh, I can do that a lot more, so uh, I cause a lot more trouble for the defenders and they always need to go like on the back heel and uh, they don't know where I am, really. Um, yeah, I was quite happy with the performance, but again, uh, right out the win. Is it possible to get that consistently or try and get that every week? Uh, yeah, it's obviously possible. And as I said, we train very hard. You know, the, all all the lads. Uh, you know, the, there's a lot of demanding on us. We're training very hard. There's a lot of positive in the, positivity in the group. Everybody wants to work hard. So uh, again, like next week, if you play like this, I've, I'm very positive. We uh, we get the result that we deserve today, actually. Do you think, given that you're a fresh face in Scottish football, that you'll use the su surprise aspect to your full advantage? Yeah, obviously, I, th I would like to think I'm different uh, than other players. Um, I want to be different. I don't want to mm -hmm. be a basic player and press, press it sideways. I want to be entertaining the fans and like, get them off the chairs from time to time and be create cre creative. So. Hopefully I can do that a lot more and be important for my teammates and first mm -hmm. um, hard, works, hard work comes first and then obviously my ability and my uh, quality hopefully shine through and help the team to uh, get three points and be important. And that season end to today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. My final word in the game, um, I thought we were good in the first half and then we just lost it in the second and, and we invited so much pressure back onto us and that's how Hibs got back into the game. Hibs are a solid side this season. They'll be very, very unlucky not to get inside the top three, I think. Um, yeah, so we more than matched them for most of the game. Uh, we just sort of died off, I think. Hibs just showed their true quality. Uh, unfortunately, we, I, I think... The penalty, Stephen O'Donnell was a bit unfortunate, but I mean, his arm was out, it was a penalty kick. I've got no complaints on the result. I mean, a lot of people are saying we were unlucky, but I think uh, had we been fitter, I mean, we've, we had about four or five players on that team playing their first fir first team game in, a, in at least a while. So um, going forward, I think we'll do a lot better against the teams around us than what we were all against say the likes of Aberdeen, Hibs, Celtic and Rangers. But I, I'm, I'm more encouraged now than I was a week ago. But yeah, and also that wee bonus clip there, um, you will be seeing a lot more of that this season. You will see uh, behind the scenes stuff on the channel because um, I've got a media pass now. Thank you to Laura Brannan for sort of, sorting that out and Grant Russell. I mean, they, they were great with me. On Sunday, it was my first ever time doing post match presser. Uh, I just sort of, oh, I I just viewed from afar for the first three, and then Kevin Van Veen came, and I had to ask Kevin Van Veen a question, and it was great. It was, he was great with me, so, uh, yeah, it, it was great to be mixing with the uh, the sort of so called serious journalists as well. So, aye, brilliant, and uh, hopefully in the future I might throw in a couple of fun questions at the end as well. But yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick, this uh, vlog and unfortunately we couldn't get the result we wanted, but kicking on, we played well enough to get something out of the game. We were unfortunate. But yeah, uh, anyway guys, I hope, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.